redirect your attention to your core audience just because that's what needs to be the focus, like your people. This is my friend, Diana Gladney. She and I met when Joshua and I went to the Value with Video conference a few years ago. Remember the Vegas vlogs? That one. Well, she and I struck up a friendship and I've always been able to count on her opinion and unique perspective to gain insights into how I'm how I'm doing this whole YouTube thing. Hey, Miss Diana, I'm taking your class today. I'm taking your post. I'm treating it like it's a class and I still struggle with like communicating who we are as a channel to people. A recent post she made on Instagram has challenged my way of thinking about life and YouTube. They're feeding their community while yours is starving, waiting for something that you said or talked about in a live stream that you was gonna do that you still haven't done yet. I just thought I would record a video and, and kind of show you the process and maybe you can slap it out of me. So if I were to take your thing, I would say, hi, my name is Jared, and together with my wife, Jessie, what? We want you to see Jesus in our vlogs. We hope to share with you Jesus in our vlogs on this channel, Jesus. This is so broad, though, because it's like, how are you going to do that? Well, you know, like, shoot. Hey, guys, just got off the phone with uh, Diana Gladney a little bit ago. Trying to kind of hone things in. Been a bit scattered on the channel. From my perspective, there's so many layers to how God loves us and how he wants to interact with us. The further I get along in that process, I wanna make it like super simple for people. And I just realized I'm not doing that with my with my old YouTube channel here. Uh, I guess the computer's not gonna start up. So I am after it, I'm trying to redefine some things, make, it, make everything much more clear and a little easier to access the different elements of what I'm doing here on the YouTubes and what I'm doing in ministry. I'm after it, I'm gonna do some work, uh, put together some lights for the carport back to cnn well and what he said to joe rogan is they shouldn't have said that yeah because he had no nothing else to say so diana's always asked me and, and even joshua they're wordsmiths and they think about these things like what do you mean when you say for instance, at the end of our videos, we say, we're helping you taste and see the extravagant love of God. And Diana's like, cool, yeah, I'm down with that. But like, what does that mean? And so that's challenged me to kind of rework some of this stuff. I guess we're gonna start tailoring our language, putting the cookies on the lowest shelf to say, hi guys, we love you. And we make vlogs or we make content that brings you closer to Jesus. And just let it be that. Now the explainer in me wants to say bye. And we hope that in between the scenes as we pray, as we talk to you guys, that Holy Spirit communicates something that testifies of Jesus, his presence in us, uh, around us, guiding us, that sort of thing. So I've got to learn how to communicate that better. I've also got to put these lights up here. I got lights up here. I need to put lights in here because I want this place to be lit up like the 4th of July at night time. Tired of walking around in the dark tripping, <clears throat> tripping up things. You know what? Maybe Diana Gladney, Dean Lentini, and John Hayes are right. Maybe it's enough to make videos that simply say, Hey guys, I love you. Pretty happy with that, except for... Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out. Getting ready to film Vlog Pastors. I'm recording. Audacid, audacidly? <laughs> I'm recording audaciously. You know I'm talking into the microphone like it even matters? Get out of my way. I got a live stream to get to. What's wrong with you? Turn left already. Turn left already. That's my guy. Get out of my way.